The world is getting crazier and crazier. Or at least, that's what the news would have you believe. And to be honest, my town hasn't changed too much, with the exception of this LED weaponry installed on every single telephone pole, feet from where we are sleeping. And this might be our last chance to hand out those flyers I showed you guys and make people aware of the infrastructure that is key to their demonic agenda. Right now, people are outside protesting, but probably not for long. When the fake virus didn't work, they made a fake riot, and now they can do what they intended. The media led everyone on for months and months. Oh, we're opening soon. Things are going to be back to normal. And just like that, in a matter of a few days, they're bringing in the National Guard. There's an overnight curfew. Did you guys see the video of them shooting people standing outside their homes? It is absolutely insane how clear it is, how black and white, that the elites tend to destroy this planet. We're basically living in a simulation and everyone is an expendable minion. The millions of secret society members are working hard to employ the mainstream narrative. This whole George Floyd event was staged and fake. Well, you can file this one under you can't make this S-H-I-T up. George Floyd fired officer overlap security shifts at South Minneapolis Club. Yeah, they both worked as security at the same club at the same time. It is all a plot to incite civil unrest. All of the riots were staged and fake. Not one person on the Democratic or Republican side is telling the truth. They put them this the setup. They put them there on purpose, Y'all know where bro. they at. They gonna set them on right up on the rail of Y'all know what building this Come is right here. Now. I ain't even gonna say what name it is. Hey, where do them bricks go to? Where do them this bricks is set go up. to? Where do them bricks we go to? We gotta do better. Ain't no damn construction. Gotta do better. Ain't no damn construction around here. I see. Ain't no damn construction around here. You just gonna set a pile of bricks right there. Oh, okay. Listen, I did jury duty three months ago. Y'all don't keep no bricks right there. We're building barricades. Go get everything in the fire. Get the boys right here. This is the team. There's more I zoomed in, I'll, I'll zoom out a little bit. Those cops will come for you if you're pulling that crap. And these divide and conquer tactics are working way too well. You would assume people have a higher IQ, mainly thanks to everyone selling out. Anyone with a large platform is either keeping their mouth shut or on the side of one of these organizations pushing a certain narrative. I mean, is this why they brought in the National Guard several months ago to have them stationed and ready? It seems as if they knew this was going to happen and planned on having them mobilized and ready to go for when the riot started. They probably wanted to use the National Guard when people disobeyed stay-at-home virus orders, but 
since the majority of Americans stayed locked inside like rats, like the good little sissy la la boys they are, they had to fake these riots so they could utilize the National Guard and create a crazy police state. Is this related to prisoners being released? Is the reason hundreds of thousands of prisoners were let out of jail so they could fuel these protests? Did they cut a deal with George Soros to get out of prison? Yeah, there is a rumor that he's funding these Antifa protests and that Trump is the good guy trying to save everyone, but this is just more divide and conquer tactics, trying to get people to pick a side or at least have people think they're a part of this, that they're not just minions that are being moved around. The media, everyone, whether Democrat or Republican, the millions of people they hired to push this agenda, they are all working together towards globalism, one world order, one world government, and this is only going to get worse and worse and more chaotic. So they have the National Guard deployed in Chicago after the violent protest Saturday night. Allegedly, most of the day the protests were beautiful, massive, and peaceful. Then, supposedly, late in the evening, the protest became about violence and damage. I mean, I guess it's harder to point out the fake cops and obvious paid actors when it's dark outside, and it makes sense that most people were out during the day, seeing what's going on with the protests, and then they staged the majority of the violent nonsense under the guise of darkness. You know, Los Angeles has the National Guard as well. Garcetti said the Guard members who arrived early Sunday were summoned to support our local response to maintain peace and safety on the streets of our city. When the curfew took effect at 8 p.m., police moved aggressively to get people off the streets. Protests also roiled the East San Diego suburb of La Mesa. San Diego police officers walked shoulder to shoulder through the streets after 2 a.m. Sunday, telling hundreds of protesters and observers that they would be arrested for unlawful assembly if they didn't disperse. You know, I wasn't planning on talking about this today, and I actually wanted to talk about the direction of my YouTube channel, uh, but I think this is a decent answer for that. It still sickens me how all of these people with large platforms are part of the plot. You know, if someone isn't talking about this or addressing this, you know, you shouldn't be recognizing them as an innocent bystander. They're likely part of the agenda, and if they're okay with all of the lies and deception going on in the world, what do you think they're doing to you with their YouTube channel? And part of me thinks that these people know something I don't know. Maybe things are going to be back to normal sometime later next year, and we're going to have, you know, a brief period of a few years before they enact this full-on globalist new world order system. Maybe that's why some of these YouTube influencers are keeping their mouths shut because they know they get through this year, the beginning of next year, they're gonna have some time to make some more money. Uh, that's that's what's going on in my head right now. I'm assuming that's the deal. I keep telling my parents, you know, they had you locked inside for four months. They destroyed the livelihood of the middle class economically, and now they're physically burning down what's left and robbing storefronts. You know, what do you think's gonna happen next? I'm sure these protesters are going to come down with the illness in a week or two, since they were surely given a lethal dose of radiation poisoning from these cell towers. And I mean, these the, the cell towers, the, the Wi-Fi stuff is still being buried. It's all a distraction from that. And you know, if they're trying to push away that one thing, these LED lamps, these cell towers, these antennas, that those are a key part of their infrastructure. If those towers are down, if those LED lamps go down, they can't make people sick and they can't cause the second wave. Uh, so, you know, hopefully this gives you guys some clarity and, you know, gets you to not worry as much. I mean, I'm hoping most people realize this is all staged and just a race baiting thing. And hopefully people are smarter than I thought. I mean, this is definitely a step down in intelligence from the virus. Like, you know, getting people to believe in a fake illness through fear is one thing, uh, but race baiting people is like, like, do you really think people are that stupid? I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. I've been trying to get a tan so that when I go down to these protests, they think I'm, you know, Mr. Puerto Rico or something, but um, it's probably not worth it because one of these, these crazy pricks will probably recognize me and try to hurt me or something, and then they'll be rewarded with the uh, the Antifa Medal of Honor for making sure Frank DeFano doesn't make any more YouTube videos. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see how the next few days goes. 
and uh, yeah, it's just, it's just kind of crazy. Like, I can't sit here and make nutrition videos anymore because <laughs> I don't even know why I'm working out and doing this bodybuilding stuff under the assumption that you know things are going to get back to normal and that I can use my intelligence, my physique, and all these things, you know, to put myself in a position to help more people. But we'll see what happens. We'll see.